welcome back to my channel and three reviews just checking out again now uh, tonight I had a, a relaxed day didn't do shit but my wife did have a busy day she went to get her CCW so today was her second class and she passed it with a little 38 Smith & Wesson revolver she did very good she um, she knocked that out so now all she has to do is turn her certificate in and she's got a concealed carry now, I'm gonna do a review on that because I'm gonna try and get my concealed carry and I'll let you guys know how that goes we'll see if we do a step-by-step -step on that Anyway, tonight I brought you guys in here to check out Wee Jang's Hide Shadow. Now, this is Blackout from the movies. He's fucking badass. But uh, when it comes to Wee Jang, I just never checked him out. Now, this guy, when I saw him on online, I was like, damn, that's sick. He's huge. He's bulky. He's got beef. He looks really good. They painted him uh, way better than Hasbro. Sorry, Hasbro, but, you know, everybody says it. But you guys need to step up your game. This guy's sick. I'm going to open him up, check him out. This box is huge. All right, now, are you guys just looking at this thing right here, just pulling it up on top, and that fucking artwork is perfect. It looks like a legit company. And I, you know, the only reason why I say that is because everybody's calling this a knockoff. You know, if, if, any, if anybody's doing any type of uh, uh, building of a toy, it, you know, even if they copy something else, I mean, everything's being copied these days. And for some reason, Wee Jang just gets noted as a knockoff company, which is fine. You know, whatever. I don't buy knockoffs. If I know they're knockoff, I don't buy them. But check that box out right there. That is really good. That's fucking nice. That's what you get right there on the back. I mean, just looking at that alone, I mean, they got all the uh, metallic flake in there. It's like a rainbow metallic flake. That looks really good. They did fantastic walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I'm going to continue opening this up. Man, look at that. It's got Blackout's face right there. All imprinted. Man, I don't know about that. Um, talking shit on the uh, third-party companies that uh, appear to be knockoffs. You know, and, and just so you guys know, I bought all these. I got a lot of these, and, uh, you know, I'm going to get some more. Um, they do good. I'm going to see the difference. Check it out. Man, that's... Smells great. That box is perfect. Got your instructions here. Um, like I say, I've never bought a Wee Jang before. I know they all come bigger, um, and I heard they just all come better than than Hasbro, you know. And uh, I'm gonna keep you guys. This, this is what they look like, man. You know, maybe you guys can see if you want to start buying them. So far, I'm pretty impressed. I've opened up a lot of boxes, as probably all y'all have, you know. Man. <laughs> that got the plastic film on there just like everything else Ooh. he is big and shiny all right Wei Zhang you've got my attention good job just looking at that right there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set him up and get all the accessories out check him out on a turntable so you guys can see firsthand as well mind All right, you guys, so I just set him up right now, and I was looking at him, man, this guy is sick. I'm gonna look at all his detail. Look at this guy's face. There, what's wrong with that? Anybody out there, tell me what's wrong with that. Nothing, he looks super good, man, all this stuff. It's so weird that forever you keep in your mind, oh, it's a knockoff, don't buy it. But then when you, like, how can they do it better? They fucking are doing it better i was just telling my son like the whole Gu like if it was gucci like would you buy fake gucci fuck if it was better and then you know then gucci needs to step up their game all this stuff is just ridiculous all right i'm I, it's just great you know and all his little points of articulation his hands his fingers and everything he's he 
just looks absolutely amazing. Um, I like them. And we Jang, good job. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into some of your other figures. If they're this good, why not? I mean, it sucks to say that because I know a lot of people are like, well, you're putting money into the wrong place. You know, it's it's cheating, it's stealing. I don't think it's stealing. Look at Fans Toys, uh, Jetfire, Skyfire. I mean, that's obviously not a Hasbro make, and it's perfect. And I would never buy any other Jetfire than the Fans Toys Jetfire. I mean, look at that guy. Just awesome. And you know what really got me was his legs when I saw his um, the paint detail on his legs. And I know you're supposed to do the chicken leg thing, but I just wanted to get him as tall as he, he could go. So look at just all that molded detail, painted gold. It's got all that just looks really, really good. Rubber tires. All right, I'm gonna spin around a turntable and I'll talk about them. Go through his accessories. Look at the back. Bad ass. All right, so this is his instruction booklet right here. It is really good. I can't believe it. You know, I'm gonna keep gushing about it, you guys. I, I think it's just pretty cool. I mean, some of the stuff is even better than what some of the companies I've been buying from has been. Look at the, just the um, overall quality of the pictures. Man, quality pictures. They used a really good camera. And then transfer it, whatever. And then the back, look at that dude, sick. Okay, so there's the instructions. Um, this is a scorpion he comes with, this scorpionock, everybody's calling it, you know, and uh, it's pretty good. The head does not move at all, at all, at all. His arms just do the uh, in and out, but uh, and his little legs, they don't move either at all, um, but his tail does. You can do all the joints here, 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 and then, you know, all that kind of stuff. So look at that. They painted him well, and it's going to look good gonna look good now I now just for a size comparison with the scorpions um, I did get this I forgot what company it was from but check this guy out and I, some of you guys probably already have this but look at the detail on that and all his little legs move and whatnot his little arms this thing's pretty tight they put all the um, the gears in them this one looks just like the movie and uh, just for size real quick you know pretty good but either way i mean this one's great this one's not bad it's good put him off to the side put him up here all right and then you get the uh tail wing right here the rudder all that and all this stuff pegs on them you know but look at the spin look at the spin quality on this okay now don't look i mean who cares it says uh something other than blackout but they had to do that you know that's good that's a good spin it doesn't even have bearings it seems like it does right put that right there and then you get the uh, bottom now this is where everybody's like oh it's fucking parts former yeah a lot of toys are and you know that for this guy right here i saw how they engineered him with the uh, hasbro and for them to add this piece on um with the other piece as well to make it a display and all that kind of stuff so you don't have to have it hanging off his back i think that's a good idea because i don't want it on there because guess how i'm displaying this guy just like that you know he might go into his helicopter mode once or twice but he's not staying like that this guy's sick like that and then you get your display base which uh, you know folds up into the bottom of the helicopter and all that kind of stuff but uh, there's all the detail there um, and I don't see any of the little where you know you take plastic things out of the, the sprues and there's no little bumps everywhere you know like man it just does not feel cheap it doesn't feel shitty it looks really good this little guy, it feels heavy. I think, I don't know if, I think that might be metal, but they put a little bit of uh, some dry brushing on there for some weathered effect. You know, whatever, that's cool. I think the um, scale's a little off, but who cares? You know, I'm not gonna use this thing anyway, but they did good, at least it was an afterthought, you know, to do it or whatever. Cool, not bad, put that right there. And then you get these little, uh, green army men which was, i was hoping that they were going to be like the real green army men from when we were kids but they weren't but they kind of have that same uh aspect you know look excuse me let me see if i can get that camera to focus i know that some people do that but whatever they're cool good enough and they're supposed to go you know 
on that thing is like they're fighting or whatever. There we go. See my thumb? I fucking smashed it at work. Damn it. That guy. It's good enough. You know, whatever. They put it in there and that's fine. All right, you guys. So I just turned the turntable on. Now, uh, when Black... Uh, when I first saw Transformers the movie come out, I remember when Blackout came on the scene. Uh, first you saw a black helicopter coming through the desert, um, and then he came through to the uh, outpost and landed, and then he did the uh, iconic transforming sound, and then he fucking transformed. And I was like, again, blown away. I thought that was the sickest thing, because you didn't have any good Transformers movies. First one, you gotta admit, I mean, that thing was badass. It was the first time they ever put fucking that kind of fighting scenes, and and um, the way that the Transformers, they, they just mess each other up, you know, and they fought and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Blackout to me was uh, the first one that stuck in my mind, the first one that I was like, wow, that's badass. Now, I, I like them all, I think they're, they're super cool. But like I say, this guy was just awesome. So, and that was one of the reasons why I got this thing too, because it clicked, you know, with me. And I was like, man, that's it. He looks just like the movie character, you know, and that's that's the important thing is like this guy right here. I mean, he looks good. He feels good. He's heavy. He's got die cast. There's nothing wrong with him, and I don't I don't see what the problem is. Wee Jang, like I say again, great job on this figure. Whoever you guys are that, you know, engineering. I looked a little bit on the computer before I started this uh, looking at the video or doing the video and whatnot, and um, they're just a, uh, a company, and uh, you know, not in the U.S., you know, and they are doing an amazing job. All right, just so I'm going to go over the top of them. That. Great. Anyway, just for conversation's sake, you guys, my wife's awesome. She's fucking badass. She fucking went and got her CCW, like I was saying. That's hard to do. And she's a dainty girl. She's not like a, you know, like a, a, a fucking man's girl and shit. She's, she's a girl girl and she was able to handle a 38 Special Smith & Wesson, Smith & Wesson with the uh, snub nose, you know, that's an in, inch and an inch and three quarter barrel. And, and she, she got the targets at five, 10 and 20 yards. Enough in on the instructors were like, damn, good job. And there was another lady there that happened to be doing it and she couldn't pass with her revolver, same, almost the same one. And, uh, you know, I, I just keep thinking about that. She, that's what she did for the last two days. Plus having to do all the interviews and all that kind of stuff with, uh, you know, how California is on the gun laws and stuff, you know, which is fine. But, uh, uh, she just did awesome. I think that's great. Anyway, look at all this stuff right here. She is perfect. Why Why is it so good, you guys? I'm telling you, if you haven't got Wei Zhang because they sound like a cheap company, look into it. Damn. Now, you know who I watched was Ben's Collectibles. Um, and he, uh, he reviewed this guy. So I watched his whole review, and he's right, you know. They're, it's a good figure. I love it. Blazer long. That's great. All right, you guys, now that is the helicopter mode. He is fucking huge. I'm gonna run this tape measure by him real quick. Now this thing is, uh, a front, I mean, it's 23 inches. That is ridiculous. And then he's about, you know, six inches tall. But the uh, the blades spin perfect. There, I had some uh, problems getting some things tabbed in. I did have to watch a video to just check some certain points to get real quick. The instructions are good. But uh, they left me hanging in a couple spots, but no big deal because I got right through it. Now there, are, if you ever, got, if you guys get this thing, it don't stress anything out. All you have to do is get a screwdriver and loosen up some screws. I did have to do that, and uh, after that, it was fine. But look at this guy. It's 
Super good, man. He's clean. All the wheels are rolled. Look, this guy rolls pretty good too. He's too big to even try real, real quick. Let's see, put my hair. I mean, that's like uh, smooth rolling right there. Very good. Coming in at the front right here. That's very cool. They did good, looks good. All right, I'm gonna get him back into his uh, robot mode and put him into uh, size comparison with a couple things. All right, a little bit of size comparison here. Move him to the side. And here he is next to Optimus Prime. Movie masterpiece. Hey, he's fucking pretty tall. Awesome. Here he is next to Lockdown by Unique Toys. There's another good figure right there. That guy's badass. Look at that. They really are painted well. That blackout looks good. Just perfect. Corp knock down there. Good. So I gotta say, just let me get this guy out of here. Let this guy go here. Just to recap, this guy looks good. I'm gonna look into more Wee Zhang. I mean, man, he's perfect. I mean, <clears throat> transforming him was a little bit difficult, but it's worth it. And honestly, this guy's just going in my display cabinet just like this. I mean, he looks sick. I don't know which one to get next. I'm gonna start looking into it. Look at that guy. Anyway, you guys, thanks a lot for coming in, checking it out. Appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Later.